I want to bring in now Sheriff Mark Daniels, the sheriff for Cochise County, which is along the Arizona-Mexico border. Sheriff, as always, appreciate your time this morning. We had heard from the federal government, from the Secretary of Homeland Security, that it was going to be chaotic, and the Biden administration's plan on immigration was going to take some time. Are you seeing that play out right now in your county? Uh, Marty, thanks for having me again. Let me say what we're seeing playing out, and that is a uh, border in crisis disaster mode. There's no doubt about it. What's coming across in Yuma, which is Sheriff Weather and I talk, Texas, and also here, and what we're dealing with is not manageable control. I mean, what he's stating are hollow words, they're shallow words by the Secretary. We're, we do not have a plan. Secretary Marcus keeps talking about this plan. I've heard Title VIII. Title VIII's a a statutory authority that immigration CBP's had for years. I mean, that's what they work off of. So if that's your plan, that is basic in nature. What is the plan to address the surge? What is the a plan to address border security, which has been lost in this whole conversation? So I always ask the question, who has the better plan? The transnational organizations, the criminal cartels that are pushing a lot of this, the drugs, the trafficking, to include the smuggling, or Secretary Marcus, who has not shared the plan with us? Right, and that's the biggest problem, right? The component that if the plan doesn't trickle down to the people like you who are on the front lines and your deputies wake up every day and are dealing with the cartels and illegal migrant crossings, then what? Um, what is the structure? I mean, has it always been like that, that you're hearing, as you told me last night through the meet or last time through the media, the plan? That's still what we're hearing. I still do not have a plan. I mean, we, ha we had a, uh, a meeting yesterday. We applauded our board of agents, all the police chiefs in my county and law enforcement, just for what they're going through. I really wish, Marty, that the opportunity would rise that the board of agents working on the border from Texas to California could get on your show and tell you exactly how fractured it is, because I hear it every day from them and how frustrated they are. So when Secretary Marcus says all these comfort words, he's very good at the Webster Dictionary. The reality is so much different down here. And your viewers, and I appreciate you having me on there because they need to hear that. And I'll just tell you, last night, we had an immigration bus break down, down here at the border of my county, where they're bringing uh, migrants that came across the border, most of them illegally, being bused to my county to be processed by my border patrol agents on my border, and then released in the state of Arizona, just like in Texas, the state of Arizona and the governor I just met the other day, we are busting them out here to what I call humane resources where they have them, not in a county like mine. Where we don't have a transit system. So they're busting up. We're taking their responsibility. They are leaving them in my county. The federal government is, Secretary Mayorkas, busting them here from all over the southwest border and abandoning them after they're processed. Now let's talk about humanitarian on that. We have to get them to these NGOs. If we're going to do this, which uh, I, I have a lot of thoughts on that. If we're going to do that, at least get them down here, process them, take them back to where they need to go. But that's not happening either. So what you're telling me, and the secretary said, if people cross illegally under Title VIII, they will be swiftly returned to their country and they could face a five-year penalty, a ban from coming into the U.S. In the last 12 hours since Title 42 expired, you are seeing the opposite. Marty, we're seeing just the opposite. Let's, let's talk about two things he said. Number one is you will immediately be sent back to Mexico. We know that's not happened. Sheriffs in Texas will tell you the same thing. I'll tell you the same thing. I mean, and they keep saying we're vetting them. How do you vet people from foreign countries that we have no system of, we have no interoperability with those systems? They could be a serial killer in that country. We would not know that. How are we going to know that? Uh, unless they're a fugitive, uh, got a global fugitive warrant, which is very rare. So bottom line is this, we don't know what they've done in those countries. I, I, get, I, get, I was told by, um, an individual from Texas the other day that they had an individual, 20-year-old, come in, say, I was looking for work. He was processed without even claiming credible fear of asylum. They processed him. He was gone. So this system of, you know, they're going to remove him under Title VIII, I respect it if you enforce the rule of law. We have an open border. That's why they keep coming. They incentivize people to come here. As of yesterday, I was found out that, as you know, the reversal just came out of Florida, that they weren't even giving them court dates. Border Patrol was furious. They haven't done that for over 16 years. And the reason they're doing that is optics again. Get them off the border, get them in the country, and whack like it never happened. We got to enforce the rule of law on our border, and we have to secure our border because the consequences for drugs trafficking, cartels are involved in this. Cartels have a plan, and their plan is working right now. And once some of these migrants show up in your county, are they part of the groups that are being bused to other communities as well? What happens after they go through this process? We have state buses. Arizona is funding state buses to come down here 
to pick them up. Now, they're not required to get on these buses. Some walk away. Most of them are being very obedient right now, getting on the buses because they don't know. But the bottom line is this. Arizona, we're, they're still trying to establish the fund line to handle this. Again, is this a state problem or is this a federal problem? But they're busing them to communities like mine all, all along the southwest border to be processed and released. Finish the game. You're going to bust them here. Finish them. Bust them out of here, too. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.